Hey guys, it's Brittany Marie and welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are as excited as I am for today's video because I will be going to get my tongue pierced. I am super nervous. I've looked up so many videos today and I know so many people say that it doesn't really hurt. It's just the healing process that hurts, but I'm still super scared. I hope you guys are excited and I don't really know. I'm just like freaking out. Freaking out a little bit. I think you can tell. I'm just freaking out. Just a little bit. <laughs> So my best friend Nia is coming with me too and she has a channel on YouTube so you guys should go subscribe to her as well. Her video link will be down in the description box and yeah. So when she comes I'm going to film and let you guys know what's happening next and that's it. Let's go. I hope you guys are ready for this crazy ride because I'm not. <laughs> Okay, guys, my best friend Nia is here. Hi, guys. Playing with my dog. <laughs> and we're about to get ready to leave. Oh, and shout out your YouTube channel. Oh, Miss Nia Renee. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to call the place and see if right now is a good time to go. And then we're going to go. And she's going to record. <laughs> Sasha. <laughs> and she's going to record it happening so you guys will be able to see it. Yes. So, we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Okay guys, so we just left and we got my tongue pierced and I'm in pain, so I'll talk to you when I get home. <laughs> she did really good though. Yeah. Okay guys, so I just got back home. Here's her piercing. It hurts a lot, but it looks so good. Right now the long bar is in and once it heals, I'll switch to a smaller one, but I really like it. I'm just in a lot of pain <laughs> and um, it was super quick and I think that the pain for me was like on a scale of 1 to 10, like 5 out of 10. Yeah, but I know that I'm in for it tomorrow because they say that the healing process is really bad, but it's fine. We'll get through it. Okay, guys, so I thought I was going to end the video, but I'm actually going to show you guys the healing process for the next two or three days. <laughs> My goodness, my dog just interrupting I think he agrees us. Just doing that as well. <laughs> yeah, and I'll show you how it heals. My tongue's probably gonna be really enough. My tongue is probably gonna be really swollen tomorrow, but we'll see what happens. Hey guys, I could barely talk, but just a quick review. My tongue is really swollen, and I can barely eat. Ice helps, and so I'm just gonna update you guys. Hey guys, so today is day three of healing, and I'm still in pain. It's really hard to eat, it's hard to do anything, especially talk. But I heard by the fourth, fifth day you feel better, so hopefully by tomorrow I can eat more and by the fifth day I should be okay. I hope because this healing process has been torture and I really hope you guys can understand me. If not, I'll put sex bubbles, but yeah. Um, not doing good, but I hope I get better tomorrow. I feel like I've been through the worst and I feel like it just is gonna get better from here. Fingers crossed. So yeah, that's the update. Hey guys, welcome back. I am so sorry. After day three, I completely like gave up. I couldn't film anymore. I was just in complete torture. I, I just couldn't do it. I'm going to explain what happened. So day four, 
I was in so much pain. On the right side of my tongue, there was this constant pain. I couldn't eat, I couldn't do anything. And it was so bad because at this point, I was so hungry. I just wanted food, I just wanted to eat, I just wanted to talk, I just wanted everything to be back to normal. And then I was like, I just wanna take it out. I just wanna take it out, I wanna get rid of it. I don't want this in my mouth anymore. I can't deal with it, it's not going away. And then I was remembering that people were saying that by day five, they feel so much better. So I was like, I'm gonna try to stick it through because I don't want the last three days to be useless to the point like I went through all that for nothing just to take it out. So I was like, let me just wait till the next day, like everyone says, and see if I feel better. If I don't feel better, I'm gonna take it out. If I feel fine, I'll leave it and then we'll go from there. Let me tell you, I am so glad I waited till the day five because I felt so much better. It was so weird. I felt so much better. I was able to eat. I was able to talk. I was able to move my tongue. I was completely better. At that point, I was just getting used to it in my mouth. So I was getting used to eating with it. I was getting used to talking with it. I was getting used to doing all of that. And it was so much better. I am so glad I stuck it through. So I think that if you're going through a healing process and you want to give up, just wait till day five and decide then. So I'm going to explain um, how my process went and things to help you out if you're planning on getting it but you're scared of like the healing process. So this, is, this isn't to discourage you, this is to encourage you and to help you through so that you can have a nice beautiful tongue piercing. So by day one, I counted day one as the day that I got my piercing. So that night I was just in pain. Even right after I got it, I was in pain. It was getting sore, it was swelling, and the pain was coming. Now at this point, you you have a new pain in your mouth. So it's kind of like a shock and you, you're not sure what to really do because like you want to eat and you want to talk and you want to do this because like, you know, like that's what you're used to and you th and like you think you'd be fine, but like you're not and there's this pain and, and it's new and you got to get used to it. So. It's kind of like a little weird. Um, you just gotta find things that work for you because then by day two, you have a whole day of this new pain that you need to get used to. And this swelling and your tongue is fat and swallowing is really weird. And you have to get through that whole day. By day three, you're kind of used to the pain at this point. You're used to it, you're, you found things that worked for you. You're able to kind of get through it and you know, with what worked for you. Now day four, from my experience, was the worst because I had that pain and I was so hungry and I was barely able to eat and I was just like, I'm so over this. And then by day five, I was fine. From then on, it's been a week and a half. So a, a few days later, <laughs> um, now I'm just, I'm perfectly fine. I'm able to talk, I'm able to move my tongue, I'm able to eat. At this point, it's just getting used to it in my mouth and how to like, you know and do things with it and i really want to change it to a smaller bar because it's bothering me on the bottom of my tongue but my mom thinks that um i could just change it to a smaller ball and it'll be fine because i don't mind this one and i'm on honestly i'm too scared to take it out so i don't mind keeping this one in and if i get a smaller ball and it feels fine then i'll just leave it but i do really want a smaller one i think it'll be um so much easier and at this point like it sitting in my mouth is more comfortable now so i don't really know what i'm gonna do i'm definitely gonna wait another week if i do plan on switching it but we'll see what happens with that so i'm just gonna talk about a few things that helped me so ice cream potato salad french fries ice and cold water those things helped me the most i was constantly drinking cold water um Ice helped. Ice and ice cream helped numb my tongue and get rid of the pain. It was so amazing. And then potato salad and french fries were the only things I was able to eat because they were soft and I was just chewing on one side of my mouth, which was on my left side of the mouth because the right side of my mouth was constantly hurting for whatever reason. Those are the things that helped me. And a word of advice is if you are going to eat and you're feeling pain, take ice. Put it on your, well, wrap it in a napkin, put it on your tongue, wherever you feel the pain or just all over. Hold it there until the ice melts. I'm telling you, you're numb, your, your tongue will feel numb and you'll feel so much better enough to eat and it'll be so much easier. And just eat ice cream, 
those things really help and every time you eat afterwards rinse your mouth with mouthwash definitely do that you don't want to get any infections so it those things definitely helped me now another thing if you can't take the pain do things that will distract you to make you not think of the pain and to help you get through the day quicker so you know what I did was I played video games I hung out with my boyfriend I made TikToks I did things that would just watch movies I did things that would distract me so that my day will go by faster and I wouldn't really be thinking of the pain I would be thinking about whatever it was that I was doing and not so much pain so that in a way it was like it wasn't there you know so do things like that whatever will distract you whatever will help your day go by faster because then before you know it you're on day five and you're perfectly fine so I think you guys should really stick it through if you really like the piercing and if you think it's really gonna look good on you do it so that you're encouraged to keep going because at the end you'll have a beautiful piercing don't do it if you think you're gonna take it out because then you're gonna go through all that and it's really gonna suck that after going through all that pain and stuff you just have to take it out so just do these things I think it will really help you and then at the end of the day you're perfectly fine and you have a nice piercing so the piercing itself is a quick pinch and then you know just and you're done come on it, it's really quick and then do these things to help you do the healing process and you'll be good don't worry it's definitely manageable i hope this encourages you to keep going if you're watching this while you're through you're going through your healing process i am so sorry um do these things i'm telling you they will help right now watching a youtube video that's perfect that should be distracting you i hope you are distracted right now don't think about anything just think about my voice and be talking and i hope you guys get through it and at the end they have this cute little piercing this is what it looks like now super cute i love it so much and you guys got this keep going don't give up and if you're going to get it you totally should so yes, this is the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this helped you. And I hope to see you in my next video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And comment about your tongue piercing experience and if you're going through it right now. And any questions or if you need any advice or encouragement, just let me know and I got you. And turn on the notification bell so you get notified every time that I post a video. Follow my TikTok and my Twitter. TikTok I follow back. Twitter is just to communicate with you guys. The usernames will be in the outro. I'm gonna put the picture of a TikTok on the bottom, it'll be my username. Twitter on the bottom will be my username. And I'll also try to link it in the description box if I don't forget. <laughs> so yeah, I hope to see you guys in my next video. I hope you enjoy this video and thanks for watching. Bye.